Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And now do a pass down this side of the field. Down to 18,800. So I'll bring you over just towards the edge a little bit more like that. And I'm going to use a hired help for this just to run down the field. Let's watch this one work. That's quite a big cultivator for the tractor, I think. How big is this tractor? That's a 6230. It's got to be a medium tractor. The 6230. John Deere 7810 there. Is it under small track? The 6R. That's what we're looking for. The 6230. We're using the 6230. It is the R. 6230 right there is a 280 horsepower track. Okay. That's more powerful than I thought. It's a 6230R. So it is that. That is definitely more powerful than I originally thought it would be bit of a beast of a tractor this one is apparently then loads of stones all over this field and we're not going to be gathering any up with this contract but at least we've got a bit of work that we can do i think possibly two passes along this bottom end just so as he's got room to turn around properly i mean we could just do one and then send it off we'll just do one we'll, we'll do one because then i can go and check on the progress of our workers up in the, the top field that's going to come all the way out there, and maybe we should do two. I know what I'll do. If I drive down over the AI worker F, oh, that was me. I thought it just flashed up for me, AI worker F has stopped manually, but no, that, that came up when I pressed the button first. And there's all that seed. I don't want to mess up that seed, because if I go over it with the cultivator, it'll disappear. I don't want to do that. Bring this back over to here like this. Press H. So he'll go to the end, he'll turn around, he'll come back. And while he's doing that, we can have a quick check up on the rest of them. So you are doing a beautiful job up here. No issues so far. This one is almost finished now. But this one here is also getting pretty close to where that other tractor is working. So what I'm going to do here, now that he's coming up to the point of the field up here, that bit right there, I'm actually going to stop him. And I'm going to drive him down to the bottom end of the field. Uh, actually, I'm going to start the seed drill going here. Just to help us out a bit. And I'm not going to worry about seeding to the very edge, like doing this all the way around the entire field. I'm just going to do it here. And those little tiny bits haven't been cultivated. I'm hoping that the lime coating will disappear once I start the work here. Like I've just pressed H now, so the hired help is going to carry on. I'm hoping that it'll just sort of go on and do this and then because they're such small bits I wasn't actually going to worry about catching those with the cultivator so we'll see if that works out alright this one over here let me stop the seed didn't get messed up over there so we do have that that we can go and gather up I'll bring the tractor up here like this with that cultivator and I will start the hired help working down this side of the field right here. So that should give us a nice bit of money for that job. I just leave that one go now and he'll go on and do that work without any issues. You are fine, you are fine. And you've got one last strip to do down through here. The seed drill down the bottom is doing absolutely fine. I'm going to watch this one just in case he decides to like that he wants to go up and do the wheat. I mean, it's it should be far enough away that it's not going to cause any problems, but it can. There, I've, I've it's seen that before. You do sometimes get some little issues. Now, where's field 13? That one's over there. So we could go and get field 13 going as well with another cultivator job if we wanted to. I don't think this one's going to cause us any issues. 
I don't think he's going to try and turn around and do the wheat. But even if he did, I'm right here and I'm watching it. So we don't need to worry about it. It will be absolutely fine. Everything will be, as they say, tickety-boo. Helper H has completed their task. So that is the first job done with that cultivator. We could actually go and take another cultivating job. I'm going to go and just take these because these are slightly bigger pieces right here. So we might as well grab those, but let's have a look up here. I'm going to leave a couple of those bits because I want to see them being taken out with the seed drill. Let me see what happens. I'll go and get this bit. I'll get just that one and this one up here. I could have this tractor. Contract on field 19 is 20% complete. Right, we've got a tractor and we've got a cultivator. Now, that's quite a big one there, field 13. We've also got field 6 and field 25. Now, they don't offer a lot of money. To be honest, I'm not sure field 25 would be worth it. If we have a look in here, what are you offering? That cultivator there is quite a bit bigger than the one we've got. They're offering a 1,000 based on that size cultivator. This one is a smaller cultivator. I think the one we've got may be marginally bigger than that one. So I think we'll take the Field 6 cultivating job. We'll just accept that contract. And I'll use this tractor and this cultivator to go and do it. Now, it's not the speediest of machines. So what I'm hoping is if I drive over at least part way I could set the hired help to go the rest of the distance so we're going to just travel across here I know it doesn't like going down this hill it doesn't seem I think it's the road down the bottom so we may have to get it to the bottom of the road then set the hired help going not quite sure yet we we'll drive down here We've got a patch of seed in our field just here, and there's another patch of seed halfway down the hill. Let me go to here. There's our patch of seed right there, which I don't currently have anything to go and collect it with. Now we come down this way like this. There's a vehicle coming up the hill. So let me stop here a second and see... A lot to stop going down this hill. Right, let's see now if we can use the hired help to travel all the way to field six. So I'm going to set destination and there. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that we need to stop that before something really bad, <laughs> really bad happens. You're not supposed to be driving up over the edge like that. What's the, what's the matter with you? <laughs> First thing it does is climb the barrier and tip the tractor on its roof. That's not the way to behave. Seriously, what's, what's the matter with you? you got issues, man. <laughs> got some serious issues. Right, set destination over here. Let's try that again, shall we? That is a 6300 driving to target. Hopefully this time it's going to be all right. We'll leave that one go. We'll have a little faith. And this tractor has already gone and drilled in a little bit of the... Just one of those little patches that was left, that we left behind. And it is actually drilled it all in without any trouble. Right? It's, it's um, covered over the lime and everything. So that that's working perfectly. We might have enough seed with one load to do this entire field. Which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm quite pleased about that. This one here. Coming along very nicely. Field 8 is 70% complete. This one down here is just chugging away. And you are 70% complete up here as well. And then I've got you. Where are you headed at the moment? You are, you've gone out that way. Oh, I see. I came out. I set it going here. All it's done is gone up there. It's gone around that roundabout. It's gone here. It's going around this roundabout here. Not very well, but still doing it. And now it's going to follow that road. 
all the way up. How's it going to be crossing the train crossing? There's a bit of curiosity for you. How's it going to cope with doing going over that train crossing, I wonder? That could be an interesting one. Right. Next up, you. Actually, no, right, so... Someone's blocked by an object. It's not either of you, is it? It's this one. It was... The car, maybe? Don't know. You know what? Let's take the hired help off of this one and we'll just do this ourselves. So, uh, what I'm thinking is... Yeah, I've got this... No, I've now got this cultivating job going, but I should have got a roller. We need a roller for the field up the top. We need a set of Cambridge rolls or something like that so that we can just go and squish it all down. We're going to need to do that. At the moment, the only option... Because I've now got to go and do this contract. I'm almost up there as well. So we'll get this one done, and then it's either going to be this tractor that will go and collect the roller, or we'll have to bring our other a voucher down from the mountain, and we'll do that one instead. This is a slight problem for us. Like, we are having to run up and down that hill an awful lot. The hired help doesn't like the hill either, which means that we have to sort of manually do it. So with the next series, I will definitely keep that in mind. Although it's really nice sort of having us a little bit away from the, the built-up area, and I do love where we've got the new farm set, I actually prefer it here to what we had last time. What we had last time over there, it was nice, but I just feel... This one feels better. This one's got a better feel to it, um, being up on the mountain like that. It, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's lovely up there. You've got that fantastic view out across the valley. It's just a bit of a jolly nuisance having to run up and down the hillside every time you want something. And we are having to do that a lot. Now, can I... Oh, I can go in here. Look. There's a gap in the fence right there. That's rather convenient, isn't it? So if I go here, I think just a single pass is all we need to do. We will drop that one down there. The only downside to us using our own machine to do this job, which is all the way across the map, is that once we've done the job, we've then got to drive our own machine all the way back again. And that is a bit of a pain. It would be like with the other contracts, you drive to the field, do the job, and then you just tell the farmer to come and collect his machine because you're done with it and you don't actually need to do it anymore. Uh, but we don't have that luxury here. But never mind. Okay. There's another job underway. This one is still doing a great job. We just reached about the halfway point and where's the seed drilled? I'm zooming out as much as I can. Oh, it's way up there. There's a fair bit to go yet. I don't think... Excuse me. I don't think we are going to finish this field. Not with the seed that we've got. I think we're going to have to get more. And we can't just pick it up. You can't go and put... If you've got the pile tipped on the ground, you can't just go and dump this one down next to it and pick it up. It doesn't work like that. We have to have a bucket. So it's going to require another trip. We'll plan this carefully, we'll get a roller at the same time as we go and get a bucket to bring the seed back up. So, as long as we plan things carefully, we'll be alright. Because, you know, what would be nice if you could just have the Mahindra and a bucket and go and pick it up, but there is no such mod. I don't think there is. Uh... See, what I've always wanted is, like, a shovel. Something like that. See, there, 2,400, that one, you could just scrape along the ground and pick stuff up. I've always wanted a shovel mod. Right? You just have a shovel or a bucket and you can pick stuff up from the ground. But so far, I've yet to see one. That one there would pick it up. Actually, it probably wouldn't. No, it's a, a basket or anything else. Uh, these aren't shovels. See, nothing. There's nothing there. Winter equipment, belt, weights, dollies. It's not going to be in under any of those. I mean, it says chainsaws. I wonder if maybe it was, you know, some other tools. But there is. There's nothing there. So we got front loader tools. We've got a universal bucket there for 1,600, which would be what we would want. And it holds 1,000 litres as well, which is a thing of seed. So that's probably the beast that we want. Just that bucket. That's, two, that's 1,400 right there. And that's 1,800 litres. That one actually is even better. 
That first one is 1600 and this one is 1400 so it's cheaper. That's a bigger bucket. We don't need a bigger bucket at all. It's 2,800 litres. That's 1,400 for 1,000. 1,400 for 1,800. Oh, we'll probably go with the 1,800 litre bucket then. That would be the one to go for, I think. Makes a lot of sense. I think we will actually need to go and do that, though. We, I, I don't think we've got a lot of choice in the matter. I think that is going to just have to be something that we do. So we've got three contract jobs working. I've spent uh, at least three grand on wages now, but that does also include the wages for doing our own field as well. So although we've gone and spent a fair bit of money on these different jobs, because we've gone and spent money not only on our own, uh, like on the contract jobs, but also on our own jobs, we're sort of covering our expenses whilst doing the contract work, which was kind of the aim of it to start with anyway. Now, I'm not going to start any more contracts. I think we've got enough going here. This one may take a minute or two to finish this field. He's, he's not going to be too, too, too bad at all. I think he's going to be all right. We get our money's worth from our harrows that we've got here, at least. And then there's you, still working. Contract on field six is now 20% complete. Oh, we might... I, I really don't know. Get in the comments. Do you think we're going to finish the field before we run out of se before we run out of seed in this seed drill? Do you think we're actually going to do it? I don't know. We've got some fairly long runs on the field now. I don't think we will. I think we're going to run out of seed before we finish the field. But we might not. This this is genuine sort of touch and go situation this is. It could go either way right here. So get in the comment section and let me know, do you think we're going to finish this field before we actually run out of seed? Or do you think that we're going to run out of seed and have to go and do another trip in order to get the seed up here? I mean, we'll buy the bucket and we'll bring the seed up anyway, so that we've got some for doing another planting. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know if that's going to work or not old cultivator that is that I think that cultivator is more one for heavy soil all right you got all those spring tines on there wiggling back but you got banks of the spring tines you got you got several layers of them now I realize that that cultivator would actually be all right for shallow cultivation on non-plowed ground so it's sort of taking that into account and it would be breaking it up into a fairly fine tilth. So you could probably use that straight onto non-plowed ground and then run any kind of seed drill in without any trouble. But it's still a very long cultivator. There's a lot of cultivation going on between the moment when the first tines hit the soil and when the last ones go, you've got what? Well, if you count the front bit to the wheels as one bank, and you've got one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, six lines of cultivators hitting that soil. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of a lot of cultivation between the front and the back. It's quite impressive, actually. Uh, you, well, you're nearly finished. You are very nearly almost finished. Let's have a look. Uh, plowing up there is 93% complete. We're going to stick with this one for a minute. I'm going to have another drink. Oh, it's good to have coffee. You've got to, it, it keeps you going. Right. That one was 93. It's 94% complete. Another couple of passes, and that job is all done. And that's the end of our T7. I'll be honest with you. Okay, I didn't know it had T7 on the seat. No, that's pretty cool. Um, I was never really a fan of New Holland tractors. Never a fan. This right here, the whole console being attached to the driver's seat like that. Nothing on the edges of the tractor whatsoever, just about. I've not driven a tractor like this. Like, all of that, that's new. But last time I drove brand new tractors was probably 15 years ago. And so things have changed. Like, tractors have advanced quite a bit in the last 15 years. 
as, as comfort in the cab is now considered something to be a lot more important. It didn't used to be operator comfort never used to be something that was even considered it was just you know you get in there and you put up with it you got a seat what more do you want consider yourself lucky you're not standing up well back in my day we didn't even have a cab and um that's you know, all you heard i never really understood that if you've got a comfortable driver he can go a lot longer he, he can he can last a lot longer in that cab without making silly mistakes and now it seems that the manufacturers of the tractors, at least, even if the farmers themselves <laughs> don't necessarily agree with it, because the manufacturers are pushing out the seats like this rather than um, anyone else, um, that's just how it is. You, you've now got these nice, comfortable seats in these brand new tractors. Although, to be honest, the kind of place that can afford a tractor like this is also the kind of place that realises that unless they really look after their employees the employees one might go and work for someone else and two could have grounds to sue them for not looking after them properly and it seems the threat of legal action is quite a good incentive to a potential employer to really look after their workforce and then of course you know not everybody's like that though not everyone is like that there's a lot of people out there who are just nice people and now that they're able to buy these types of seats really super comfortable ones for their drivers they want their drivers to have these really nice, super comfortable seats because, you know, they are actually decent human beings, which is good. I like this. I think this is a good step forward. Has he got a tablet in the middle of his steering wheel? I don't want to press C and jump in because it kind of messes up. Um, it can mess up the recording as well. It, it does cause issues. It still causes major lag spike on it. And Contractor Field 8 is finished. This one is now saying that he's finished. I'm going to let him run up and run down once more just to finish that off. But that console in the middle of the steering wheel is really cool. You could, could... Can that watch YouTube videos? Can you, like, turn that console on in the middle of the steering wheel and just have a YouTube video playing while you're <laughs> doing your plowing? That'd be so cool. Wouldn't that be so cool? You watch Farming Simulator videos <laughs> while you're doing your plowing. That'd be fantastic. Uh, Field 6, you are halfway done over here. Excellent. Fantastic work. You, up this way, you've got 33% left. Okay, he is going to finish this field. He's only got a few passes left. You can just make it out. I don't know if you can, but I can. I can make out that he has only got a few passes left. So there's not much left to do on that one. And here we have this one. Very quickly getting to the end of this show. Everything is all coming together. In, like, all of these jobs are going to finish at around about the same time. Well, apart from this one, he's already finished. Contract's done. I'm not going to do that last little strip. That's going to be a set-aside strip that we'll leave just down the side there. I we'll just admire this beast of a tractor coming down through here like this. And once it gets down to the end of the row, we will stop the hired help. And the farmer wants a set-aside strip just on that last little tiny bit. So what the farmer wants, the farmer gets, which means that we stop down the bottom end. And then we can say, job done, and collect our cash. Uh, 16,300. That means we have spent 4,000 euros on wages thus far. It's almost exactly 4,000 euros on wages up to this point. So you're going to stop right there. I'm going to leave that one right where he is like that. And then I'm going to go over here. So completed that one 3,600 because we lose the 600 there. Collect that lot. So that's definitely a profitable job. That was absolutely 100% a profitable job because um, I've just paid for the wages on three jobs. This one's just about done. This one is now over halfway. And this one up here, like, we've also paid for everything on our field up here as well. And this, th that was two... Yeah, we went over this twice. Plus the ploughing was done as well. Like, th there's a lot of work has been done up here. So we're definitely going to be going into profit. 19,800 right now. Let's bring you in over here. Let's uh, go from this side and we're going to watch this one a bit. So this one whizzing down through. We don't see the great big machines working very often. I mean, it's not like the biggest big machines, but it's still a pretty big machine. 
it's raining. Don't really want it to be raining while you're doing work like this. How long is that raining allowed? I don't think it's going to last very long, is it? Uh, hmm. We could have a couple hours of rain now. Fairly light rain, but it's still rain nonetheless. All right. At least he's got his lights on. So there's going to be two more passes on this field to finish. And this one, we won't leave a strip. We will let it run right to the end before we actually stop. Uh, you up here. You will be pretty much the same. We'll let you run to finish. And this one has got one more pass after this. And he's done easily finished the field before we ran out of seed. So it means that we got plenty of seed left over for next time as well. We still need to go and gather that up. I'm just not sure when we're going to do it. Really want to leave the seed lying around in the countryside. But at the same time, I don't really want to go and spend money to go and gather it. That is 1,400 euros me for the bucket. I suppose we do need to go and get a roller anyway. So I might as well go and get it. And then I've got the seed up here. I don't need to worry about doing it another time and forget all about it and then have to go and make a special trip for it. So if I do it now, after it's finished here, that would probably be a better move, wouldn't it? Is there anything else that we're going to need to do to our field? Right, right there. What have I done here? I've left... Oh, this... Okay, I'm not quite sure what's happened there. That's straight across there. I put grass back there, didn't I? That's what I did. Okay. So we got no stones that we need to worry about. That's needs ploughing. Those red bits up there, that needs that's just the needs ploughing bit. So we we can ignore that. It's just minuscule, doesn't make any difference. Uh we've got fertilizer. Weed control is the only thing that we're gonna have left that we're gonna need to worry about. After this, we will need to deal with weed control and rolling now rolling contract on field 19 is finished so there's another job done gotta actually wait for the hired help to finish on that job before we go and gather it up but that won't take much longer now anyway um go down to the end here that's finished Our ai worker h has completed their task so let's run you back over to the farm i will park this one up I'm going to get the front loader on and we're going to then drive down to the dealership. We need to get a roller so that we can roll this field. And uh, having the bucket on means I can gather up that seed on the way back up through as well. Because I kind of feel like we, we want to be doing that. We owe it to ourselves. Because otherwise I will forget and then I'll have to go chasing after it next time I want seed. If assuming there's going to be a next time. I don't think that we're going to get our target of um, buying a spinnery and building a tailor before I need to do another lot of planting up in that field that we've got to made. I can hear the outhorns again. There's no you down there. Like that. And then Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.